Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Renekton, the Butcher of the Sands. Renekton is a melee DPS champion, utilizing a new mechanic, Fury. Fury replaces his mana bar and is gained by attacking. His abilities are all normally free, but when he's built up enough Fury, he spends it to empower that spell. Furious abilities always deal more damage and have a bonus effect. Reign of Anger is Renekton's passive. While below half health, Renekton gains 50% more fury from all sources. Cole the Meek damages nearby enemies, healing for a fraction of the damage dealt and gaining fury for each target hit. This heal fraction is higher when hitting champions. Both the health and fury gains are capped. When Renekton has 50 or more fury, he deals 50% bonus damage while the heal fraction and heal cap are increased. Ruthless Predator makes his next attack hit twice for bonus damage and a stun, while Furious, his attack hits three times with a longer stun. Slice and Dice makes Renekton dash forward, damaging enemies he hits. If he hits an enemy, he has a few seconds to recast the ability as Dice, which is the exact same unless Renekton has Fury. When casting Dice with 50 Fury, the ability will deal bonus damage and lower the armor of enemies he hits. Renekton's ultimate is Dominus. He grows in size, which increases the reach of all his abilities and attacks. Additionally, he gains bonus health, extra fury generation, and continuously damages nearby enemies. Slice and Dice is a very short-ranged dash, so I wanted to show you where he can and cannot jump over walls and barriers. While showing off these locations, I'm going to give you an overview of how I build Renekton. I max Cull the Meek first because it gives me amazing health sustenance and is the highest source of damage early in the game. I take one point in Slice and Dice quickly at level 2, taking a point in Ruthless Predator at level 3 and maxing it second. Like with all other champions, rank Dominus every level it's available. My rune setup takes Armor Penetration, Marks, and Quintessences, with Armor per level Seals and Magic Resist per level Glyphs. I take Exhaust and Ghost for Summoner spells, resulting in 23-6-1 Masteries. In the item department, there are a lot of viable choices, but I like to start with Doran's Shield and a Health Potion, taking Ionian Boots of Lucidity, Brutalizer, and a Spirit Visage. From there, balancing damage, armor penetration, and resistances will give you great damage as well as making your self-healing more effective. I recommend Last Whisper, Guardian Angel, and Force of Nature. Renekton is a more flow-based champion. So instead of special tricks, I want to show you how his fury generates and falls, where to spend it, and efficient combinations. Fury caps at 100. Additionally, Cull the Meek builds 5 fury per target hit, and Ruthless Predator builds fury because Renekton attacks twice. However, as part of the cost, Furious abilities do not build fury when used. At level 2, you have the ability to put out some pretty easy harassment. Slice through the minion wave to the enemy champion, use Cold the Meek, and dice back out. If you're hurting for health, wait until you have 50 Fury. Slice through the minion wave as before, but just make sure you're in range of all the minions before using a Furious Cull before dicing out. The real pain comes after level 3, when you've picked up a Ruthless Predator. Slice in, hit with Cold the Meek and Ruthless Predator, and dice back out. Using this ability will pull minion aggro, so be very careful about retaliation when trying to escape. Because you should always be able to heal yourself, you should be farming minions very quickly. While this is far from a perfect score, try to compare your minion kills against this mark, 110 minions by 12 and a half minutes. Because of this huge item advantage, I'm actually able to take on a 2v1. Aurelia has been exhausted, and I'm out of range of Heimerdinger's turrets. Dominus feeds me a furious Ruthless Predator, chasing her down with Slice and Dice, and another Ruthless Predator thanks to my huge cooldown reduction. Now, I use a furious Cull the Meek to restore most of my health, allowing me to chase down Heimerdinger under the turret. Renekton is a good pusher, as he can take on the oncoming minion wave by himself, regaining health. While Renekton doesn't have a lot of support abilities, the stun on Ruthless Predator can be invaluable. With enough fury, I slice forward, stun Shen for the full duration, and dice away to ensure I don't die to the turret while Katarina channels Death Lotus. In a large fight, you really need to count on scaling up with levels and items. While this clip will look overpowered, remember that I have 2-5 levels on all my opponents, and about 6,000 gold worth of items in 18 minutes. I drop Teemo with Slice into Ruthless Predator, making sure to cast Cold the Meek whenever I can for damage and healing. 
I turn on Dominus once I'm sure the fight has started, as I don't want to waste the duration. Cooldown reduction allows me to repeatedly stun the enemy Renekton over the fight. Finally, my stacked defensive stats allow me to tank my opponents while Katarina rips apart Aurelia. Thanks for tuning in to the Renekton Champion Spotlight. Get out there and crush some enemies because destruction approaches.